it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials. And today we are making this box pouch. Highly requested, super fun, an easy project, great for presents. I gave a lot of these out for this past Christmas. If you guys make some of these, don't forget to share pictures with me. I love to see what you guys are making. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all my links and everything will be below. So I'd love to see what you guys come up with, your kind of fun little fabric combinations and things like that. So um, definitely send me pictures. And also I'm gonna be giving away two of these guys over on my Instagram page. So don't forget to check that out. And let's get going, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, here we go. Here are the pieces that we need. Uh, my outside piece, my lining piece, and some fusible fleece. All of them measuring 13 by nine and a half. You need a 14 inch zipper. And my pull tabs here, um, I have two different ones to show you two different ways to make the pull tabs, but the one that you're gonna need is two and a quarter by seven inches. Now you are gonna wanna put your fusible fleece onto your outside pieces of cotton fabric. You can also use a home decorator, linen, um, you know, different kind of weights of fabric. This is 100% cotton fabric. I'm just fusing it using the manufacturer's instructions to my fusible fleece. So the glue, sh the glue side should be up on the wrong side of the fabric. So you're gonna to wanna to do this to both outside pieces of your box pouch. You can see this is how it will look. Now here I am doing the next side. I don't like to use steam on mine. Um, I just use a dry iron and you wanna hold it down, obviously using the manufacturer's instructions again. Now here's my 14 inch zipper. You're gonna place it teeth side down onto the right side of that one side of the pouch. Making sure the zipper pull and that metal piece are outside um, the seam of that box. So here I am just using my favorite clover clips and attaching all three of these pieces together. Take it over to the sewing machine and stitch down all three pieces. Like you see here, this isn't even a zipper foot, this is just a regular uh, sewing machine foot and so you should be able to do it either way, whatever works best for you. Now you're gonna get your other outside piece. Be careful if you have a directional print and then you're gonna be placing the teeth side down onto your, the right side of your other outside piece. Make sure that you're lining up all of those layers together because your zipper is gonna come out a little bit. Then you're gonna place your lining right side down. You're gonna make another little sandwich there and clip all of these pieces together and then sew down the other side of the zipper. I will also link a regular zipper pouch, Not it's not a box pouch, it's just a regular zipper pouch tutorial that I have too if you're interested in that. So now that we have both sides attached to the zipper, you are going to press down the top side and underside, making sure everything is smoothed out flat because then we are going to top stitch. So pressing is really important for this step. You're going to stitch along the side, just find a good spot with your presser foot. I just kind of eyeball it and find a good spot to follow along and then stitch down using a coordinating thread. This stitch will be seen so you want to make sure that it matches your fabric and you're going to go ahead and stitch down both sides. Make sure that you are pulling the underside fabric so that none of it gets bunched underneath. So here's how the top side should be looking and then here's how the lining side should be looking. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is make your pull tabs. You're gonna put your fabric right sides together and stitch along that seven inch side. And then you're gonna turn your work. This can be a little bit tricky. You can use a chopstick or something to help you out. Um, once you have that all turned out, you're going to give it a nice good press, just kind of rolling that seam in between your fingers just to make sure it looks nice and neat. Here is another way to do it. You could iron a quarter inch on each side and then fold it in half and stitch it down. So if you're having trouble turning it or you have trouble with your hands or something like that, this would be another way to do it. Then I am just going to stitch down each side of the pull tab just to give it that extra professional look. This is totally optional though. The next thing you want to do is cut this piece right in half. 
Now this is the part where a walking foot will be really helpful. If you don't have a walking foot, that's okay, but if you do have one, go ahead and put one on your machine. You're gonna fold your pouch in half with those outside pieces facing each other. Your lining should be sewing, and you're gonna sew the end opposite to the zipper. You're gonna sew that closed using a half inch seam allowance, just like you see me doing here. Make sure all of those edges are lined up. Half inch seam allowance, this is how it should be looking. This is the bottom part of your bag. And then you're gonna zigzag that seam to finish that seam off. Um, if you have a serger, this is a spot where you could definitely use your serger. That is what I normally do. But for this tutorial, I wanted to do something I thought most people probably have a zigzag stitch. Um, and so that's what you wanna do for that step. Next is you wanna just trim up the sides of the bag just to get a nice even edge so that the stitch is nice and easy to do. Um, you're going to do that on both sides and then you're going to open up that zipper about halfway three quarters of the way line up the bottom seam to the bag with the zipper just like you see me doing here i'm starting with the the side of the zipper with that little metal stopper and then you're going to fold your pull tab in half sandwiching all the layers together so that it's all right in the middle so you're going to want to pin all of these layers really well so that nothing shifts around so that pull tab stays in the right spot. So once you have that side pinned, you're going to pin the next side, which is a little trickier. So fold your pull tab in half, and I want you to pin it to that bottom seam of your bag right in the middle. Do this step first, and then pinning that zipper, that split, will be a little bit easier. You're going to want to have the zipper overlap just slightly like you see here. That way when it's being pulled through the machine and the feed dogs are pulling it through, that way it'll be nice and flush and you won't have a gap. So make sure both sides are pinned. Take it over to your machine and straight stitch half inch seam allowance going down that side of the bag. You can back stitch over the zipper a few times and then go ahead and do it on the other side. This is where the walking foot is really helpful with all those layers. Then you're gonna use non-fabric scissors and trim off those portions of the zipper. Now, if that metal end piece is still within your seam, you wanna trim that off. You don't wanna break a needle when you are trying to zigzag um, this seam to finish it. So you wanna make sure that you cut that part off. Cut the other side of the zipper, and then you wanna zigzag to finish this seam off. Do both of those sides with a nice dense zigzag or a serger. Then you wanna mark the sides of your bag on each of the four corners, about two inches down. Then you're gonna pop that corner out, lining up the side seam with that blue line that you made. And this, we're gonna stitch these little corners. It's gonna create the box. So you wanna have two inches going down and you're gonna mark a line going across from the one to four inch mark. So that's two inches on that line, four inches on this line. And then you're gonna pin that in place. I'll show you that one more time too. So two inches down right at the corner and then draw with a water soluble pen going from the one to four all the way across. Do that with all four corners. Then you want a straight stitch across that four inch line. Do that on all four sides. This part goes really quick, it's really nice. Then you're gonna use your fabric scissors and trim off that little corner piece, leaving yourself about a quarter inch seam allowance. Do that on all four sides again. I love this lining fabric, so pretty. Then you're gonna zigzag this seam finished as well. You wanna backstitch your zigzag on either end just to get it nice and finished and secure. That would make this bag washable, um, which is nice. So you're gonna to wanna to zigzag all of these seams um, finished for your box bag. Then you wanna trim all of these little threads off and get it all nice and neat, and then you are done. Go ahead and flip your bag out, pop out all of those corners, and you're done. Don't forget that directly under the video in the about box is where all of the measurements, what the fabric is, all of the extra details, links, everything that you might need to know, any questions you might have, a lot of them will be answered there. So make sure that you check there if you're having any trouble. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video. 
Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram giveaway of two of these pouches. And if you want to purchase any of them, I will have a limited quantity in my Etsy shop. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.